a moment because there's usually a defining moment in an athlete's career that says like okay this is fun and now i want to take it serious as well or i want to actually aspire and, and i have a dream now and goals was there a sort of a moment where it flicked for you there was one moment i call it the the moment i learned how to train mm. and um i was in the sevens team because before sevens was professional and there's the world series and everything if you wanted to play sevens you had to fundraise for it like you know thousands of dollars pay your way and try and get first place so you win the money you don't have to fundraise again and if you don't win you got to just start the whole process again and it was cool like that's that's the og underground sevens world and i loved it i got my ticket in um but the team i played for I, honestly i was the worst i was the youngest i was the worst i was the least fit my skills were just not all good and what we do is passing leaders you know in sevens training so it was it was hard yakka for us but i was um one day at training, the coach was this crazy lady. I'm actually really good friends with her now. Her <laughs> name's Mary Baker, and she was just psycho. Like she, the way she talks to people, you know, like she doesn't care who you are. She'll just tell you straight. So I was quite intimidated by her. But this. I was about 19 years old, and I was so bad at passing that I'd turn up about 20 minutes early and just pass this the way I couldn't pass against a pole. Like I just, I was just sitting there, pass, 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 and everyone else was turning up putting their boots on but I'd already I'd already got my boots on I was already doing my passing and she put the coach pulled up and I was waiting for the you know oh good job Ruby like practicing your passing so and I was, so I was just it was like ding pick it up ding and she walks out of the car comes straight like looks like she's walking towards me and I was just like you know and then she just walks straight past me doesn't even look at me and I was like oh okay sweet all good <laughs> so it's like keep passing and then um they were chatting down by the line and then she's like because it was sevens training. Fifteens training is like all good. Goes for ages, but it's not so bad fitness-wise. Sevens training is like, there's always yuck as fitness. And she was like, everybody get on the line. And I was like, oh, like I just, that sound day, I just hate it. Every sports person is like, man. And I was just like, oh, here we go. I, I didn't see the point in fitness because I was not fit. So what? why should I yeah. run? I can't even, I'm always at the back. Like, And she was standing there explaining the fitness. Back, run there, back, here whatever up down whatever and i was just like it, I, in my head i was just like it doesn't matter what it is like i'm gonna be I'm, I'm terrible at it like whatever let's just get it done go through the motions and then she blows a whistle and goes go and then the fit ones take off they're like way out a couple more then there's like the middle group and then there's a couple stragglers you know and then there's me like way way at the back and i'm very quickly after like the first there and back i'm just, just i'm plodding like it just turns into a plot and i'm just like I don't care. Like, I don't want to talk about it. I just, this is how, this is what happens when you're tired. Yeah. And then I remember Mary Baker like starts watching me and she's just like staring at me and I can tell she's staring at me and I, and I'm like, just yell at me. Like, I, just yell at me. I don't, whatever. I'm over it. Don't even want to be here. As soon as this is done, we can get into the real training. And then she started jogging with me and I, was, I remember being like, oh, this is weird. This is a little scary. And obviously, fast. She was probably walking. That's how slow I was plodding. And then um, she she was she whispered in my ear, and she was like, "Do you see that? Um, do you see loose and that the, the the ladies that were in front of me? Do you see them in front of you?" And I was just like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Like, can't breathe, can't really talk, but I'm plodding. And then she's like, she said it loud enough that I'll never forget it, but quite enough that no one else heard. And she said, "If you catch that next group." I'll make you the greatest sevens player in the world. Wow. I was like, bro, what the hell? Like, why you say that? I was shocked because I was like, why would you say that to me? Because I'm just the worst. And secondly, she's so straight up and she's so honest and she's probably got one of the best sevens minds I've ever met. So she wouldn't bullshit me. Like, she wouldn't make that up. And thirdly, I was like, you're telling me that to be the greatest in the whole world, all I gotta freaking do is catch Lucy. Like that's all I gotta do. And then I was so I was like, I was just like, okay. And then all of a sudden I stopped plotting and my legs just went faster. And I couldn't, I was like, what is happening? Like I in my head, I thought I was maxing out. And then I just got this uptake of speed. I was like, frick. And then I so I was like, oh, okay. And then I was moving way more, you know, like assertively next turn past loose like past the next um the next group that she said she said to catch them i caught them and then i remember thinking hold on i i don't even need to stop here like i can keep going caught up to the middle group 
So now I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm average now. Like I'm, I'm not below average anymore. And then I went past that middle group. So now I'm sitting kind of top half, like T, uh, Tess and CJ were the fittest. They were like way, way, way ahead. And I didn't quite catch CJ and Tess, but I remember coming over the finish line after the fit ones, but before this, the middle group and being like, what, what just happened? Like, what the frick was that? And her going, her telling me that all I needed to do to get to that way, way, way ahead thing was this little step here. It just changed into something. And then now all of a sudden I went from doing the fitness session and just going through the motions, not even taking any notice of the times to just, I was a whole new trainer. Like I just, I was pushing myself. I was sprinting. Even when I got tired, I'd rem- my form was different. It was weird, bro. I just had this massive mind body connection. And then all of a sudden I knew how to train. And the craziest part is that was 20, the summer of 2011 or 2012, 2019, just before COVID, I won world rugby sevens play of the year. Like wow. sis was not lying. <laughs> it wow. was crazy. That is it. That is an, an insane story like that. And also none of that. I mean, yeah, it's a physical thing. Like it's a physical story, but it was instantly belief like from mm. not believing in yourself to then belief and it just became something different i just wanted to like kind of not be it was a real surreal experience i kind of didn't